Um, yeah, I think I think a couple things with that. I think there's more players that have had good club experience that have played mm. pretty good soccer, right? There's mm. just more of them. I also say there's more college coaches. Like back 20 years ago, even when I just started here, mm-hmm. a lot of programs weren't full-time coaches. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. And now not only is everybody full-time, like there's so few part-time. Like they're the minority. Yeah. Why yeah, way yeah. the minority? Not only are we have full-time coaches, we got full-time assistants. Assistants, yeah. And I like I wish I did. I but I'm just saying, like, that's the trend. Yeah. And so now you have full-time coaches with full-time assistants who are hitting the recruiting trails in the tr- world. Mm-hmm. And I think there's just more teams that are that are more capable because there's more people doing this thing full-time. And yeah. so are the players better? Uh, I think there's more players who are capable. But as mm-hmm. far as more better players, mm, I think – I don't know about that – that answer right well that's interesting right i I just always i'm always curious about the evolution because you know i I even just look at my my kids and they're so much better at me than me at their age than i was and i think there's a whole host of reasons for that. yeah i think there's a host of reasons for that mainly because i was just doing an interview with one of my players on something i said Mm -hmm. like I didn't even grow up with you, Sock. I mean, when yeah. I was a player, yeah. I didn't play while I was in ninth grade in high school. Yeah. That was the yeah. first organized. There was no yeah. club soccer. Yeah. Club soccer is really pretty infant, right? Yeah. yeah. I would say, and this is what, and this is probably where I become. I think the game isn't helping itself itself with developing more players. It has become so stratified of mm-hmm. just keep taking the best players and putting yeah. them. And keep yeah. taking the best players and putting yeah. them together. Yeah, I don't think we're helping our total game mm-hmm. there. I just yeah. don't. Yeah, I, yeah. I see a lot of kids that want to play college soccer who are playing on what people would say are pretty good teams. And I go like, what are you guys teaching them? What are yeah. you? I look at them and I don't think, maybe I can't say this, but I will. I don't think clubs sometimes do a really good job teaching players. Yeah. Oh, I, I think they, I'm a hundred percent with they, you. I think they take care of their top players, mm-hmm. but even their top players, I go like the number of players in the women's game. Okay, so I'll ask. I'll ask my players. They're playing. They're ECNL teams. They're GA players, right? Yeah. Hey, did you guys ever do a session on ball striking? Because I watch you strike a ball, and it's mm-hmm. not very good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, what did you guys do four days a week? Yeah. <laughs> did, you, yeah, yeah. did you ever? Did you ever take the time to teach them different ways of striking a ball, serving a ball, whatever? And they're like, mm-hmm. what do you mean? No, we, we play keep away. I'm fi- not, I'm yeah, just you, you figure it out. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. Because that's what coaches do. You, you teach yeah. them to figure it out. And I'm like, yeah. no, what did you teach? What did yeah. you? And so that's right. I look at players and I think players are, are taught to figure it out on their own. Yeah. And we give them guidance and we call that coaching. And I go yeah. like, I would just disagree. Yeah. I don't think I, I disagree completely with the game is the best teacher. Yeah. Because then you don't need a coach. Then coach yeah. just roll out a ball roll and walk the, away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It takes both. Yeah. It takes the game. But if you don't have a background of technical ability and understanding and training, then you're just hoping it works out. Yeah. It takes both of those things together.